Welcome. My name is Lex Maidam, and I'm interim dean of the Tilburg School of Economics and Management. Today, I would like to present to you the main lines of the school strategy for the years 2022-2027. This strategy is the result of a long process with input of many of our devoted staff, as well as our external partners and advisors. I want to thank all who helped in developing this strategy. Since it reflects the views of so many in our school, I'm convinced it truly represents our shared aspirations for the coming years. Let me start with a mission, the why of why we exist. Our mission as a school is to develop and disseminate groundbreaking knowledge in the fields of business and economics, to help understand and advance the ever-changing society. This is not a completely new mission, but the mission updated in line with how we see ourselves in relation to the evolving environment and its demands on us. Our ambition is to be among the best in Europe in the selected fields of business and economics, to generate academic and societal impact through research and teaching, and to provide a work environment where our faculty can belong and thrive. Now here's Michel to tell you about the university-wide values that will guide us in realizing this mission and ambition. In pursuing our mission and ambitions, we aspire to follow the core values of the broader Tilburg University community, which include being connected, curious, caring and courageous. First, connected. We will strive to connect with each other, to recognize and value each other's contributions and perspectives that have been shaped by our different disciplinary, cultural and other backgrounds. We will aim for ever greater connection between education, research and impact and connect with external partners and advisors to achieve it. Second, curious. We choose to be curious, to pursue new fundamental knowledge, to use this knowledge in our teaching and to help look for solutions to societal challenges and to continuously innovate how we do research and teach. Caring. We will respect and take care of each other. And that includes, of course, our students. We will draw strength from our differences. And finally, we will be courageous. We will be bold in thought and in action, critical, independent, decisive. We will dare to take decisions that go against the established views if we are convinced that they are the right decisions. We will trust each other and give each other space also to make mistakes and learn from them. Thank you, Michelle. Against the backdrop of our mission, ambition and values, we have formulated five main strategic aspirations for the period 22 to 27. First of all, we will reinforce our position as a world-class academic institution. Second, we will further develop a distinct educational profile and offering of our school. Thirdly, we will continue to strengthen the academic and societal impact of our research and teaching. Fourthly, we will further grow an inclusive and supportive work and life environment where our diverse faculty and students can belong and thrive. And last but not least, we will provide effective and efficient support to our faculty and staff in the area of teaching, research and impact. Here is Ryer to talk about our research-related aims. Our first strategic aim is to reinforce our position as the world-class academic institution. To achieve that, we cannot compete in all areas of economics and business. And so we will work with the departments to identify and strengthen focus areas in their research. We will also work to encourage and create incentives for interdisciplinary research across departments and schools. In this way, we not only hope to increase the societal relevance of our research, but also to increase our chances of obtaining external funding for our research that increasingly is granted for interdisciplinary efforts to address societal challenges. It goes without saying that to accomplish all this, we will need to continue attracting top international talent and work very hard to improve the effect, the competitiveness of TISEM in the international labor market. We will focus in particular 
on creating a strong research climate, inclusive and welcoming work environment, and excellent support facilities for our staff and their families. In terms of how we do our research, we will stimulate the principles of the open science and responsible research. And last but not least, we will engage in collaboration with external partners, both in the form of collaborative research centers around broad scientifically and societally relevant research themes, and with other institutions of higher education, for example, through Engage Consortium. Jeroen will explain now how we intend to develop a distinctive educational profile and offering. In the area of education, our strategic ambition is to further develop a distinct educational profile and offering. To accomplish that, we will focus on what programs we teach, what we teach in those programs, and how we teach them. First of all, regarding the portfolio of our programs, we will periodically evaluate and renew that portfolio in order to remain relevant for our students and employers of our graduates, and to counter negative demographic trends. Second, in terms of what we teach in our programs, we will continue to build a close link between our teaching and our research as the core of what makes our teaching distinctive. We will continue to draw on the input of our students and alumni to shape the content of our programs. What we already know is that our students and alumni value the societal orientation and the character development embedded in our programs, and we will continue to strengthen both. Our students tell us that we can do better in terms of preparing them for the labor market, and we take that very seriously. We will increase opportunities for internships and career coaching and emphasize case teaching and skill development. Specifically, we will start by introducing modules in business analytics skills in all of our programs. Finally, with regard to how we offer our education, to answer the changing needs of our students, we will build on the learnings of the past period to deliver our programs in a blended format that will combine online teaching with in-person interactions with lecturers and other students. Furthermore, we want to particularly stimulate interactions between local and international students and so foster the international classroom experience for all of our students. Lastly, we will increase personalization and flexibility of our educational programs by offering a broader range of electives and minors, as well as exploring more modular approaches to delivering education. Back to Raya, uh, who will explain more about how we will strengthen our academic and societal impact. In the area of impact, we will work to further strengthen the academic and societal impact we generate through our research and teaching. We will recognize and reward impactful research by providing clear incentives, incentives for impactful research, and by capitalizing on it to increase revenues from the second and third money streams. We will increase the societal and academic impact of our research in a twofold way. On the one hand, we will work to identify societal applications of the existing fundamental research already done within the school and share those more proactively. We will invest in the science communication to increase the visibility of our top research and develop lifelong learning offerings that builds on the unique research expertise of our faculty. On the other hand, we will also encourage new research that is inspired by societal challenges. To identify these research topics, we will actively engage with our industry and social partners. Lex will tell you more about how we plan to further build an inclusive and supportive work and life environment. In the area of human resources and organization, we will grow a work and life environment that's inclusive and supportive for our diverse faculty and students. At school, we believe that to reach our ambition to be a world-class academic institution, we need all the talents that our staff bring in the area of research, education, impact and leadership. We therefore will work to recognize and reward all the different talents in recruitment, evaluation and promotion and motivate and facilitate our faculty in their growth as professionals and connected leaders. Together with the departments, we will develop clear strategic HR plans 
to ensure that they have all the necessary talent in-house to deliver their best performance. We will work to provide equitable career progression opportunities to all by developing transparent, fair and inclusive processes and policies. And we will nurture teams where staff members can feel they belong and are heard by the team leader. We are a school where 50% of staff are international. And we will strive for a culture that reflects that. Very importantly, we will work to reduce the work pressure experienced by our staff by reducing the administrative burden and improving the work balance. Last but not least, Michel will now explain how we plan to provide an effective and efficient support for teaching, research and impact. In the area of support, we will seek to provide optimal support for teaching, research and impact, which implies that all support systems run efficiently, effectively and complementarily in service to the primary processes and where infrastructure for hybrid work is available. Wherever possible, we will aim to minimize and simplify roles, relying rather on the common goals and values that we share. And we improve the interface between academic staff and support. We see the need for our decisions to be based on evidence and the implementation monitored with data metrics. For that purpose, we will increase the availability of management information in the area of HR, but also education and research to improve all our primary processes. Not only it is important that management information is complete and accurate, and available in a timely fashion, but also that it is available to those that need it. To realize our ambitious aims in the area of human resources and organization, we recognize the need for greater HR capacity and we will advocate for it. We will also design and implement HR policies to better support and nurture the talent development of our faculty members. Last but not least, to ensure long-term financial health of the school, we will aim for stability in our market share and inflow and work to improve the study success. To summarize, the strategic aims of our school for the coming years are to remain a world-class academic institution, to offer a distinct educational profile, to increase our academic and societal impact, to offer an ever more inclusive and supportive work and life environment, and to provide optimal support for teaching, research and impact. These aims rest on four key priorities that represent what we as a school want to stand for. These are quality, focus, enable and connect. The high quality of our academic research is and will be the basis for everything we do in the area of research, teaching and impact. The focus, both in research teams and in educational programs, is what will allow us to remain distinctive and relevant. To achieve our goals, more than ever, we will need to capitalize on the different backgrounds and talents in our school. That's why our next priority for the coming years is to enable, to create conditions where our staff can deliver their best contributions. Finally, we cannot and do not want to achieve our goals in isolation. So we will connect with other schools in Tilburg University, with external partners and with our alumni to help us make decisions and create synergy. It goes without saying that without the help of all of you, none of these goals can be realized. And so I invite you to join us in the efforts to make these strategic aims a reality in the coming years. Thank you for watching.